How do we change the conversation from we're all terrible people and we're destroying the environment to we can be better people because there are options out there um, that, that help us um, be, be cleaner. it's 5.30 and you've just come home and you've turned on your oven and your thermostat's on and you're opening and closing the fridge and the kids have come home and turned on the TV that um, we've had to ramp up a coal burning peaker pan to be able to handle that increase in demand. Uh, I like about this uh, project which is it, it can show that it sort of takes you to that bird's eye SimCity-esque view um, to the stuff that that you are actually having an impact on in your daily life but do not see. So this demonstration, I, I think, is a great way to show people that, well, no, actually by making small adjustments, we can really cut off some of those older, unclean, um, environmentally very unfriendly technologies out of our power grid. We understand pounds because we get on the scale every day. We understand kilometers per hour because that's a number that's constantly in front of us in the car. Very few people see kilowatt hours in front of them. At Make Lab, we we see technology and we've been playing with it for years. Understanding where this technology has been and where it's leading to was not so much a challenge as an exciting endeavor to say, how can we visually represent that so that somebody who isn't as involved in technology can understand it easily and try to be involved and want to learn more. Well, it's interesting how motivations work also in different geographies, like we're working in Japan right now, and energy management, like the type of energy management, smart grid demand response stuff that we're talking about here is actually not that big of a deal over there because if they're having a power issue, which they've been having for the past couple of years for various reasons, um, they just put a public announcement that says, please turn your thermostat up to 28 degrees today, and everybody just does it. I just cool. don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, this cultural difference. I think we spend so much time trying to like change the way people do things fundamentally from a cultural level, when it's like, why fight that? Why not just give them the technology? Oh, so I that agree. It's, like, they don't actually have to make huge changes in their lifestyle and the way they think about it and educating them about like, you know, what's going on, but just make it simple for them. A lot needs to change under the hood in a way that almost nothing changes on the surface. And we've seen that work, right? Like, you know, the government increases uh, fuel efficiency regulations and some of the car comp manufacturers complain and then five years later everybody still has cars and everything works fine and, you know, you still they still somehow get a good zero to 60 rating out of, out of uh, vehicles uh, and yet they use far less fuel than they did before. And so no one's life changes but we've all saved a lot of energy. I think after people experience uh, the installation we're developing, we hope that it changes their association um, when they go home and adjust their own thermostat. Not just an association with the bill at the end of the month or the temperature in their home, but as part of a larger ecosystem. After people see this installation interact with it, I would love them to go home and really feel that connection, to really believe it that you know whatever small change I make really does make an impact in the larger 